tough one. Feel feel for our guys, but um, we really battled against uh, one of the hotter teams in the league. Um, one of the big keys was to try to dominate the paint. Uh, we left some out there, but um, thought we did a good job of that. And you have to give them credit. Um, I think they were ninth in the league in three-point shooting, and we let two guys uh, hit 11 between the two of them. Um, you know, we missed some free throws, we missed some shots at the rim, and we gotta, we gotta keep grinding to get stops. And we just kind of made some uncharacteristic plays that gave them uh, a couple of dunks and, and uh, some great looks from their shooters, which obviously we, we've gotta learn from. Wayne, it seemed like uh, you guys were playing uphill all night, just couldn't get over the hump. How, how much does that wear on a team when you're just constantly yeah, and I think we were doing the same to them. Um, they just, they, they sh got to give them credit. They shot it really well from three. Um, but for sure, um, the whole thing was to play with pace, with tempo, with pace. And our guys, we, we warned them multiple times, don't worry about what defense they're in. Just get it moving, screen, cut. And I think we allowed frustration to creep in because um, it became tough at times. And winning's tough. Winning is tough. And you've got to be tough mentally and physically. Um, and and we're, we're grinding with this young group. And, and we're, we're, we're working hard to make progress. But we're not there yet. And I think we carried some of that frustration from offense to defense and made some really uncharacteristic plays um, defensively that cost us. Yeah, we missed some free throws. We missed some shots right at the rim. Um, the biggest thing is we didn't play with the pace we were supposed to. Even even though on our second to last possession, um, the play we ran against Arizona to, to win the game was it's it's called run it for a reason, and we didn't push it up the court. Um, it was a stagger away over here with a lot of room over here to drive, um, you know, and and just give them credit. Maybe they they just like you said they they made us fight like we were going an uphill battle all night. Um, and um, we, we've got to learn from that. We didn't play with the pace that we needed to the whole game. I don't, I don't know what you saw, but it, this is, I think this seems like the third straight game where, the, where the, their defense has made it tough on Jordan to get good opportunities. How do you get him open, or is it a matter of the other, other guys got to step up and, and, and take advantage? I think it's a balance. I think it's a balance. I think um, he's got to cut hard, screen hard, um, you know, we had a play. I thought we, we really were going to get a look, good look for him late, um, and and we chose to go into the paint. We didn't convert, um, but yeah, and then and then some other guys have got to be able to make plays, whether it's assisting or making baskets, and and that'll soften up the pressure on him. So I think it's a definite um, combination there. Tyler, to go off, I think his first question. You guys were always at an arm's length, but I think they led for like 35 minutes of the game. Just is, is that difficult, even on the mental side of things, being like you were right there, but you're just a play short from jumping out in front? I mean, yeah, but um, it really comes down really comes down to us and uh, just just sticking together. Um, like Coach was talking about defensively, we had some mishaps, including myself, which can't happen. But uh, and then it translated a little bit to offense. Um, we didn't run run offense with good enough pace, and so uh, yeah, it really it really just comes down to us and our team, and just us like being together. And we've got we've got to keep ourselves from getting those situations. We felt like we should have been up at halftime if we didn't have so many careless. We Reb says it all the time: cool, casual, and what's the other word? Cute. 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 We can't play that way. And, and, I, and I just told the guys, I, I can't keep saying it's our youth immaturity. And I thought we were a little bit too much of that in the first half. Otherwise, we're up, you know, six, seven, eight points, and they're fighting from behind. So as we're, as we're trying to build this thing and move forward, our, our guys have to learn from these experiences. I'm proud of the fight tonight against a, a good physical, intense team, good defensive team, and we shot a decent percentage. But man, just some brain lock plays cost us, and then not converting. You know, you, you when you're fighting like that, you got to make free throws. You got to finish when you got the ball at the rim, and you can kind of break through that that ceiling that's holding you down. And we just we weren't able to do it. And then and then Tyler mentioned uh, the defensive breakdowns as well. 
and Michael, maybe you can touch on just definitely a lot of positives, you know, tonight against UCLA. It just seems like you're there. How do you now sort of try and get back to where this team was against the Arizona teams and try and get, you know, more consistency from, from game to game? Um, like Coach Antonio just mentioned, we just got to cut those sort of things in, in defense. We got to stay connected, like ice page out offensively, and don't get frustration kick in. Um, and I feel like if we just, I mean, you saw it against Arizona, we played for 40 minutes, or, um, or like we played, we, part, we fight for 40 minutes, and I think if we carry that through Washington State, like today, um, with all those breakdowns, we win that game too. Appreciate it. Go Beavs. Bounce back Saturday.